LA Galaxy hosts the Philadelphia Union in this MLS Week 17 interconference game from the StubHub Center in Carson, California. Joining us now to break down the game is sports writer Kevin Stott. Now, the Philadelphia Union have just one win on the road so far this season, whilst LA Galaxy have a solid five wins on their turf. Can Philadelphia Union turn their poor on the road performance win around? Yeah, I actually think that they can. Maybe not in this particular game, but uh, Philadelphia uh, is the type of team, Natalie, that's not as bad as their record indicates. They're very competitive. Uh, they're, 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 the problem they have is allowing goals. They've allowed 25 goals the most in the league this year, so that's obviously uh, a lack of solid defense. So that's the one thing they look at. But, yeah, I, give them, I don't think they can win this game because it's in L.A., but mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the future, yeah, they could turn around the road, the road woes. Right. Well, LA Galaxy, they are the favorites here. Let's have a look at the winner's market. Uh, LA, LA Galaxy minus 150 at Coral. The draw is plus 290 bet Victor and Philadelphia a plus 450 bet 365. LA Galaxy's win is just about play, playable. Will you take that bet? No, to be honest with you, I don't like, I just have a bad, no, 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 I guess feeling is the best word, but I have a bad feeling about this particular situation, just from the way that Los Angeles has been playing this year. Historically, when they had Landon Donovan, they, were, they, they got goals a lot more easily, and a couple of their wins this year, they've needed extra time header goals to actually win and get the three points, and I think at least one of those games is at home. So they've been uh, not, not lucky. I mean, they, got, they earned what they have, but they're not the same LA Galaxy teams have passed with, uh, with Beckham and, uh, and Donovan and stuff, and they're just uh, they're getting lucky to win at home, and I think the site will be the most important thing in this game. I would lean towards them if I had to pick a side, though. Right, yeah, but I suppose that those odds probably not worth playing uh, there. Uh, looking at their recent head-to-heads, uh, last time they played was just over a year ago, which saw LA Galaxy win 4-1, and the year before that, they won again 4-1. So what are you expecting in terms of goals this match? You say they're not the same LA Galaxy. Are we still looking at the over two and a half goals? No, no. This is one of those, those things that you have to, like, just from being a byproduct of watching and handicapping some, so much MLS through the years and then uh, applying it. I think that a lot of times you can just plug in the past stats and, and the last five meetings and, like, you did four to one the last two games. That's, that's twice as many goals you, you need to get the over. And I, but I think you need to be you need to be careful here. L.A. has had trouble scoring. Uh, Philadelphia is traveling uh, 2,500 miles to go out there, so it's not going to it's it's not the goals aren't going to come as easy as in past years. Plus, summer's kicking in this weekend, and these are just two teams that haven't been lighting it up offensively. So I'm not not really pumped up to give advice in terms of yeah, bet the over here or even a side. I think this is. This is a tough game to handicap, to be honest with you. Yeah, it is pretty tough. Uh, the over-under market is very close. Uh, over is minus 105. The under is minus 117. What about both teams to score? Uh, would you maybe angle more towards the no? They're actually neck and neck there, minus 110, both William Hill. No, I'm going to disagree with you again. I actually, it's, it's a, the quirkiest handicap, but... Uh, you know, I've, I've done the homework, so it's, uh, but it's, it's, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even bet on this game. But in terms of the, the both teams to score, no, which is very unique, I, I go just the opposite. I think that both teams could actually score here, even though I think it's not going to be high scoring. I think it's a 1-1 game. Mm -hmm. uh, the last five times they played, both teams scored. But uh, that's not why I'm just plugging it in. I'm just thinking that the Union gets a goal because they know they need to play better. They're on the road. And the Galaxy are just at home. And, now, the Galaxy could win one nothing, They could win 2 nothing, But... It's just not the situation that I feel confident telling other people to go out and bet, like uh, maybe the Sounders game or maybe another one we'll talk about later today. All right. So, so you're suggesting here that it's maybe not the best match to make a play at. Yeah, if, if I had to, Natalie, I'd lean both teams to score, but just for a minimal amount, and then mm -hmm. maybe the under, believe it or not. But why would you want to take an under when the last uh, it's 4-1, it's 4-1, um, you know, 2-1? The last three times I played, they all went over. But it's just one of those games that I don't think you can plug in past trends and apply them to current situations a lot of times handicappers do that it's a lazy way of handicapping but you know that's why we have this website to have people to, to, to do some of the dirty work and to find the things and and be honest and not always say yeah take this no matter what this is this is a tough game to, to, to bet on and I wouldn't bet on it if I was a, a casual listener all right, very interesting. For those watching, is this a game that you're going to bet on? If so, do send us through your tips there in the comment section below this video. Kevin, thank you for joining us today. You're very welcome, Natalie. Thank you.